Ethereum is the second project listed on the Meyer Launchpad. Let's break down what is it all about and make sure you don't miss out on anything it comes up with. What is up guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to the channel. Either if you have already signed up for the token sale or not yet, today we will cover the Ethereum project on the Myra Launchpad, especially how to take part in the ongoing event and some key aspects you need to hear. So let's dive right into it. What is Ethereum? In development for over three years by a team of highly skilled and experienced data technologists, Ethereum wants to give utility to the data usage and make sure the metaverse is built in the right way, focusing on how the users have their data used, creating a safe space to be part of. They explained how most of the big social media platforms sell our data collected to other companies that further use it to target us as their ideal clients for profit. This market is valued at over $200 billion. And this is probably one of the biggest concerns of the times we live in, since data is the most valuable resource in the online space. Ethereum wants to take care of this problem, being the fundamental data building block of the metaverse. Ethereum provides a much needed solution to this problem, an end-to-end -end Web3 data technology stack, empowering 8 billion people around the world with the means to truly own and trade their data in the metaverse. On the blockchain, anything has ownership and can be an asset, even your data, making it possible to turn valuable data into assets by creating an open marketplace for trading it to third parties. In turn, these third parties get access to a more accurate and valuable set of data, which they can acquire with higher confidence about its value and at more attractive prices. This creates a self-sustainable market of data assets that can be leveraged to enhance virtually any business that relies on information to operate and grow. Like that, everyone wins. The user has complete ownership of their data and can willingly choose to trade it for value. Even more to it, they intend to integrate all those concepts into the form of data avatars. Each and every one of us will have our unique avatar in the metaverse, a non-fungible me soul-bound avatar. In short, this includes your entire experience on the internet and the metaverse. A powerful filter, storing key preferred settings, special interests, memorable experiences and other relevant information, creating the most compelling version of the world for us. To make this a reality, data avatars are a fundamental building block we really need, and Ethereum is here to build them. In my opinion, being part of such a vision from its inception, knowing towards which direction we are heading with the metaverse, is an opportunity to warmly embrace. Now that we found out more about the project's vision, let's move on to the ongoing event and what you have to do in order to participate. Starting from March 9th until March 25th, it's the registration period in which we have to complete the so-called Know Your Customer Verification. You want to connect to the launchpad with the account where you have your eagle staked, either if it's on the web wallet or the Meyer app. Once you connect, just enter your email address, then you simply have to follow the steps for the KYC verification. If you don't know what to expect, you will be asked to provide the following details. Your email address, your full name, a selfie that you can take with your webcam or switch to your phone and take it from there, the front and back of your ID card, and a proof of address document, like for instance an electricity bill. Just make sure you carefully read the instructions and input your correct data, since you only have maximum two attempts to complete the process. If you are concerned about the usage of your data, you are within the Elrond ecosystem, so you are in safe hands, especially that Ethereum's main focus is on the safety of the user's data. Also, you will find the official Ethereum KYC process guideline in the description below, where we have very detailed instructions to all the concerns you might have, so it could be helpful to have it open while completing the process to make sure you do everything right. But it's really not that hard, the whole thing took me around 10 minutes to complete. 
Now, on 25th, the next part begins. A snapshot of your account will automatically be taken. And based on how much e-gold you have staked at that specific time, keep in mind, not right now, but in the day of the snapshot, you will be assigned one tier of participation. Through this, you will have the opportunity to buy lottery tickets in a 24-hour window, which on the 28th March, 10,000 winning tickets will randomly be chosen between all the participants. If you win with any of the tickets you have entered with, the value you have entered with will be converted into Ethium tokens, as 5,000 Ethium per winning ticket. If you do not win with any of your tickets, you will be assigned back and have returned initially paid e-gold for buying the tickets in the first place. This type of event is called a non-loss lottery, because either if you win or not, you have nothing to lose. Now, the price of each ticket has the default value of $200 and will be available to purchase with eGold on 26th at the price of eGold fixed one day before. So on 25th, let's say the eGold price will be $160 per eGold. Let's say I know I am qualified for tier 3, which means I can buy a total of 4 tickets, each having the price of $200, and I have to pay in eGold for those. So I have to divide $800, the total value of the 4 tickets I want to buy, to the e-gold established price, which is $160 per e-gold in this example. To find out that I require 5 e-gold to buy the 4 tickets, that's 1.25 e-gold per ticket. So for a tier 3, you will have the chance to win with up to 4 tickets. Keep in mind that it's not mandatory to buy all the tickets from the tier you were assigned. You can choose to buy less than the maximum limit. Again, each winning ticket will be equivalent to 5000 Ethium tokens. Now, a very important detail that was misunderstood at the previous Ride token sale. Besides the requirement of having your eagle staked in order to be qualified for a tier, you also must have eagle unstaked to actually buy the tickets with. You cannot buy the tickets with your staked e-gold, so make sure to keep some unstaked. You can make a price prediction and anticipate approximately how much e-gold you will need to buy the assigned tickets using the formula I just explained. So knowing that, I have already began the unstaking process of some of my e-gold to have them ready for the ticket purchasing day, while also keeping enough at stake for the snapshot day in order to qualify for tier 3. So I need to have at least 25 eagle staked and around 5 more unstaked to buy the tickets with. Now, what to expect on the 26th when the tickets will be available to buy? There will be a window frame of 24 hours in which you will have time to buy the tickets with the unstaked eagle from the same wallet you are locked in with on the Mara Launchpad and where you also have your staked eagle. It will be pretty straightforward. Here on the launchpad will be a button to click and buy the tickets. I will also post a short video on 26th about exactly how to do it. Until then, you can check out in this video the exact process that happened with the Holoride token sale, where I showed how to buy the tickets at that time. And it will be similar this time. So now the question might come, will it turn out to be profitable to win this lottery with any of the tickets? Well, let's take the ride lottery for example, the ones that won even with one ticket ended up making a lot of profit. Same as for Ethereum now, each ticket was worth 5000 ride, and as you might know, later on at the ride listing on the exchange, the price of each token went even above $6. You do the math what a $200 ticket brought to the winners that sold their 5000 ride or more at the listing date. We can all agree that turning $200 into 30 k is a great deal. But of course this doesn't mean now it will happen exactly the same. And the chances to win narrow down as the number of participants grow. So all in all, to conclude, Ethium being the second project listed on the Mara Launchpad will follow the same process as the first project Holoride D for which I made separate videos at that time that include key aspects on how to take part in a token sale on the Mara Launchpad and even how to buy the tickets on the opening day, so it will be useful to give it a glimpse. Links in description. That should make it for this video guys, I hope I could clarify some key aspects for you and help you get a better understanding of the project and the process to take part in this event. I will post a follow-up video to this one on the 26th to show you exactly how to buy the tickets. 
Thanks for watching and see you soon.